By the end of this video, you'll know the key solid principles and why they're like the superpowers of clean code design. Making your code flexible, scalable, and just way easier to work with. You're handed a code base. It's big, messy, and written by who knows who. You're supposed to add a feature to it. But from the second you open it, you're already sweating. This thing is a tangled mess of functions, weird dependencies, and zero structure. But hey, you gotta get this feature in, let's dive into the chaos. You start digging around looking for a place to add your feature. But right away you hit the first problem. None of these classes follow a single responsibility. Each one is a confusing mashup of different tasks and responsibilities, doing everything under the sun. Like, you've got a user profile class that not only manages user data, but also handles mail notifications, data persistence, and probably makes coffee too. Good luck modifying this thing without breaking five other things along the way. Let's take a look at how each solid principle is being broken into this code base and how it's causing you all of these problems. Breaking S, the single responsibility principle. So our poor user profile class is responsible for storing user data and sending emails. Here's the issue. If you want to change the email functionality, like say switch to a new email service provider, you'll end up modifying user profile. And when you make that change, you could accidentally mess up the user data part. This code base isn't modular. It's like if every button on your phone adjusted the volume and sent a text. One job per class, folks. Breaking O, the open-close principle. Next, you find a payment processor class that someone recently modified to add support for a new payment gateway. But the dev didn't extend the class. They went and edited the core code instead. Now, whenever you need to add a new payment gateway, you have to go in, tweak the existing code, and cross your fingers you don't break anything. Imagine if every time you bought a new app, you had to open up your phone and mess with the hardware. This code isn't open for extension, closed for modification. It's open for a mess. Breaking L, Liskov, substitution principle. Then there's this report generator class that's supposed to have a subclass PDF report generator. Sounds harmless, right? Well, until you find out that PDF report generator actually has a different implementation that breaks when use has a report generator object. This defeats the whole purpose of inheritance. If a subclass can't stand in for its superclass without blowing up, inheritance is officially pointless. It's like having a bird class with a penguin subclass that just can't fly. But hey, you were expecting a bird to fly, so whoops. Breaking I, interface segregation principle. Then we come to interfaces. You look at one class, admin user, and see that it implements a huge user actions interface. But surprise, it only actually uses half of it. So it's implementing unnecessary methods like view user dashboard, even though that makes no sense for an admin. Now, every time you make a change to user actions, you're forced to go back and update the admin user class. This is like asking your Uber driver to also take your grocery order. Way too much going on and not all of it relevant. Breaking D, dependency inversion principle. Finally, there's this lovely inventory service class that depends directly on SQL database. So anytime the database needs to change, say if you want to use MongoDB instead of SQL, you have to go into inventory service and update it. The class should depend on an abstraction, like a database interface that allows you to swap out implementations easily. Without this, changing anything low level becomes a major headache. You've identified the issues, but every single one points to the same problem. This code doesn't follow the solid principles. Instead of working in harmony, the classes are tightly coupled, hard to extend, and impossible to maintain. You can keep pushing, but it's like putting band-aids on a sinking ship. So you think, what if we just rewrote this using the solid principles? Could we actually make this code work without losing our sanity? Let's get serious. Let's rebuild this mess using the solid principles. We'll go back to each broken example from before and show how following the solid principles can save the day and our sanity. 
So the single responsibility principle. We start with the user profile class, which was trying to handle both user data and sending emails. To make this class follow SRP, we split it into two classes, user profile and email service. Now user profile only manages user data and email service handles email notifications. If we ever want to switch out our email provider, we can just update email service without touching user profile. One job, one class, much cleaner. The open close principle. Now we look at payment processor, which was hard coded to a specific payment gateway. This time we create an interface called payment gateway and each new gateway like PayPal Gateway or Stride Gateway can just implement this interface. Payment processor stays the same. And if we want to add a new payment option, we simply add a new class that implements Payment Gateway. We're extending functionality without modifying the original code. Codes open for extension, closed for modification. The Liskov substitution principle. Remember that report generator and its subclass PDF report generator? We ran into issues because PDF report generator couldn't be used as a report generator without breaking things. This time we make sure PDF report generator meets the same expectations as report generator. This means it supports the same method and behavior, allowing it to be used interchangeably. Now PDF report generator can be reliably used as a report generator keeping everything in line with Liskov's rule. Interface segregation principle. Next, we tackle admin user, which was forced to implement the massive user action interface. This time we break up user actions into smaller, more specific interfaces. So instead of one giant interface, we create things like view user dashboard and manage user permissions. Now admin user only implements what it actually needs, avoiding unnecessary code. No more bloated interfaces or redundant methods. Dependency inversion principle. Finally, inventory service was tightly coupled to SQL database, making it a pain to swap out the database. The fix is we create a database interface, and both SQL database and MongoDB database can implement it. Now, inventory service depends on database rather than a specific implementation. If we ever need to switch databases, we just update the dependency injection. High-level modules no longer depend directly on low-level modules, DIP at its finest. With each solid principle applied, the code base is completely transformed. Now our user profile is entangled up with emails, payment processor is ready to handle any payment gateway, PDF report generator works perfectly with report generator, and interfaces are neatly focused with dependencies set up for flexibility. We can add features, make changes, and swap out dependencies without the risk of accidentally breaking everything. Think back to that code base from our first story. But now with solid principles in place, adding new functionality, no problem. Updating dependencies, easy. Swapping out new features, no sweat. Solid principles don't just clean up our code. They gave us a system that's modular, maintainable, and a lot easier to work with. This is the power of solid. With solid principles, the code has gone from an unmanageable mess to something sleek, modular, and almost elegant. Each class and interface is like a well-defined tool, doing its job precisely and efficiently. Now, adding that feature becomes easy because every part of the code has its specific role and responsibility. And dependencies can be swapped or extended without needing to touch the core classes. This new code base isn't just functional. It's scalable and ready for whatever comes next. Suddenly, new features, integrations, and even big changes to core logic are all easier to handle. And the fear of breaking everything fades away. The principles did their job and the code is now practically future-proofed. The solid principles are more than just theory. They're practical tools to keep our code clean, modular, and scalable. So the next time you're knee-deep in a code-based mess, remember, single responsibility, open-close, Liskov substitution, interface segregation, and dependency inversion. When each principle is in place, 
Code just works better, and developers everywhere can code with confidence, one principle at a time.